everyone, welcome back to Keeping It Neat. I'm Derek. I'm Nick. And we're doing it different. This is not blind. We actually have what we have in front of us right now, just because we want to be relevant and get it out there. And it's a little bit of a special release. It is a special release. This is the Jack Daniels Coy Hill, their fourth release in this series. Yeah. So, came out 2021. We were fortunate enough to get a sample of this from Mucky's Liquors. Mucky's Liquors down yeah. in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Lakeville, Massachusetts. Going over there, go see Billy. Um, but he had a, got two bottles of this also. Another okay. one, he had two bottles of it. Opened one of them and has been going through it. And when I went to go see him, when I picked up one of the other bottles, he gave us some samples of this one. So uh, this is a hard to find. One. Yeah, this is this is like a big deal. I, I learned that in Massachusetts, you cannot get any alcohol above 140 proof. Okay. So wow. everything has to be 140 or below to be able to be purchased in Massachusetts. And how much sold. is this coming in? At? This is coming in at 139.2. Woo! So point zero eight, just under it. Coming it, close. It, coming close. You know, but I learned that from Billy. Thank you very much. It's things that you you get to learn that you yeah. don't know. Yeah. Never knew there was a limit on the alcohol content of whiskey of liquor in yeah. general um, that you could get in Massachusetts. But yeah, so um, the Jack Daniels Coy Hill, a special release. Um, this one is named after one of the highest peaks on the Dan Jack Daniels property. Um, this basically is they let this mature um, in their rickhouse for a while and it burned off a lot more water than it did the alcohol in there. So the, the proofs on this are crazy high. Okay. Um, they average between 137 and 148 point something. So it's a single barrel. So, so each so, barrel is, is bottled as it is as barrel proof. What now? Why is this different than the other? Is it the location and the it's weather? The it's like, just the way they did it inside the Rick House where they left it. The, the location in the Rick House was the big deal for this one, I do okay. believe. Um, and they, they wanted to show the extreme conditions of being down in Tennessee on the weather variations that they get. You know, it's super hot summer, super cold winter. Okay. And that expansion and contraction of the actual whiskey inside the barrel and what happens up there. Okay. So that's what's going on with this. Now, this one, because this is a limited release and the amount of bottles that they do have to get out there, another one shooting up there in secondary markets between four, five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars a bottle. So let's get in on this. You ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Let's go. Ooh, that's a good thing. Ooh, super like a caramel note in there up front. Super sweet. I'm getting like a candy cherry note. Okay. Now the only difference between this, you know, they they market themselves as a Tennessee whiskey. Okay. Um, they use the Lincoln County process, which is how they filter it when it's done. Um, they filter it through a bed of maple charcoal. Okay. You get that maple syrup note in there. Well, you get that like, maple. Like a, there, there is a sweet note going on in there, definitely. Like a grainy smell, but it's really like, it's it's kind of hard to break through what we've already said. Mm -hmm. But it's that sweet, this fruit, the sweet graininess. Sweet fruit, graininess, yeah. It's all right there. Mm -hmm. Some corn. Okay. Oak. Mm -hmm. Get that oak in there. Yeah. And the, the, there's some, a little alcohol, but not as much as you think it would be, like the alcohol forward. Oh, note. yeah, no, I would think you'd be like, whoa! You'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't even get it. But, and, and I'm going in on this deep, and I'm not getting that punch of the alcohol that I, you would normally do. So I'm kind of excited to sip this and see where we're at at 139 proof. How about some jasmine? Jasmine? <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, man. You have been coming up with some notes that I can't even begin to fathom or touch. I'm yeah, impressed, though. I have I mean, no the, idea. The, the specifics <laughs> of your notes are crazy, dude. Like, and a very, like, florally. Like, there's okay, a little so there's bit a of, like, a note floral note. note Thank you for You're the floral note. So, jasmine. <laughs> this is floral. Specific floral is jasmine. All right, let's All right, do it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, proof comes through. <laughs> wow. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's it's still coming. Yeah. It went from a lot of flavor to Jack immediately. Like I immediately at the very end was like, oh, I taste the Jack Daniels. And we've talked about that in past episodes before, that there's something in their ingredients that has the Jack signature. Now, I don't know if it's the, the that Lincoln County process, the filtration, whatever, but I mean, a lot of people, with they get Jack, they get a banana note. 
Me, uh, I get like a metallic tink. That's what I get. There's like a metallic note that comes through on yes. Jack for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's not unpleasant. It's just that it's that's like something like the, where I rate it with that metallic note. Yeah. I go, oh, that's Jack. Yeah, that's Jack. Easily. It's just that this is Jack at a hundred and you know all forty. Yeah. 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 Try it again. That proof, man, is just wow. This one, I can't. I, I want to put water in just to see if there's like a sweet spot, like there where it brings it down a little bit, where some more stuff opens up. I get that alcohol. F, uh, that yeah, that upfront alcohol, man, is really up there. I'm getting. I get sweet. I get spice, and then I get Jack Daniels. Yes. Does that make sense? It, like, it does because like, you get those traditional Jack Daniels flavors at the on end, the tail end of the it. Tail. You know, you're, you're like, oh, coming I know, through. I, like there. I'm getting. The, yeah. There is a, and I am picking it up right now. There is a slight banana note in the back. Um, but the, the metallic tang that we that we said we get with Jack, um, that metallic tang that we say we get with Jack is coming through. Um, but that banana note, but of those spices also in there that are that are coming through the baking spices. There's that sweet note. There's a, there's some kind of a fruit going on. But yeah. that alcohol, man, is kicking. Does it smell like a gumball? Gumball. A twenty-five <laughs> cent. Turn the nozzle and a gumball pops out. A banana gumball, a yellow gumball. See, now you put that in my head and that's what I'm getting, you know, because it's just so nice. Right, though? Like, kind yeah, of no, way. It's, a, it's got that, that artificiality yeah. a little bit in there, but yeah. I can see that banana gumball thing, that sweet, sugary, you know, that, yeah. that you can almost taste the dye on it. Oh. The, the when yellow. When you suck it. Yeah, that, that, yeah like, that, 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 tang, yeah. that tang that you mm -hmm. get. All right, let's add some water. I think in my last sip, I got a little bit of shortbread cookie. Okay. Like shortbread cookie-ish, but it's got a little bit of vanilla cream in there. Okay, so the very, water. Very interesting flavors. It's like... The water opened up the nose a little bit for me. I'm getting more of that, that carameliness is coming up front. A sweet, super sweet, like a maple note I'm getting now. That maple note you were talking about originally, I didn't really get when we first sipped it. That maple note is prominent now. How about, do you remember those, um... No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, maple cookies? A little vanilla oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I'm at. Okay, because so you're, you're getting, getting shortbread, the shortbread, you're getting maple, that. and you're yep. getting the vanilla. Okay. I like it yeah. since we added the water because I'm getting more of those baking spices okay. going on. A little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, a yeah. little brown, brown sugar big yeah. time in this. This is a good one, too. This is, this is, it I actually mean, has grown on me more. The scent on the nose. With the H2O, this is really... It opened it up in a different way because of the aromas that are coming out of it now that we added the water to it. So what would you rate it? Four. I was going to go... Three and, three and a half. half. Well, all right. I think... Okay, um, okay, okay. Yeah. Water, definitely. I'm with you on this, uh, which is very rare for both of us. Yeah. This is H two O. This is yeah, this definitely. is definitely H two O. I would not yeah, have would, this no. without the H two O. H two O added to this to bring it to somewhere in the middle of the proofings. Awesome. So there you have it. I, I did it. Worth the pickup if you can get this at MSRP, and I would say. If you can get this at like the hundred and fifty dollar range, if you can find it, you know, if it, it's not crazy secondary yeah, market prices no. like that, I wouldn't go over two hundred for this. No way. Worth a pickup. MSRP all day long. There we are. Hope you enjoyed it, and just hoping everybody finds a little bit of luxury and otherwise ordinary life. Cheers, everyone. See you again. <laughs>